Good morning everybody, I'm Logan and today I'm going to be taking you along with me here on Broyne's farm. So the first thing we're going to start out with this morning is cleaning out the high tunnel. Now, as you can see, all the tomatoes are dead and any tomatoes that are in here are rotten. So we don't want any of this contaminating the greenhouse or the soil for next year. So we're going to start off by cutting these strings right here. It's a pretty simple process, but we have this high tunnel and then we have the lower high tunnel to do. So it'll probably take us a full day. And I don't know if we're going to have a full day to work on this because we also have to get the irrigation pipe out of the field because that's just not good to leave in there. If somebody would ride through with a quad or a side by side, they'll dent it, crack it, whatever. So we're going to go get that out either midway through or at the end of the day. I don't know when. So that's pretty much what's going to consume our whole day. And then so after we get the tomato plants out of the ground, we're gonna put them in a wheelbarrow right here. And then we're gonna run it up into our dump trailer. We'll probably fill this all the way up and then we'll take it back at the edge of the field and dump it. And then it'll just be good compost. What I normally do is cut two sections at a time. Yeah. Just the wind. Sharpen that knife, so it should be pretty oh, good. That's sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make sure my hands are not in the way of Pretty quick. Yeah. Only doing um ones with the edges. Yeah. You just you just gotta make sure you cut the knots on them. So now we're gonna start picking up this irrigation pipe. As you just seen, we're going through first, getting these rainbirds out of the ground so that way when we load them on the wagon, everything's easy and nothing's getting in our way. <laughs> yeah. Now when we pick it up, everything should go smooth. Hopefully. So now we're ready to start picking it up. I pull the latch, Frank pulls, and this is watermelon. So you can see it getting caught underneath all the vines. You have to kind of shake it so we don't bend the pipe. And then pull those vines off. Good. Good. Ready. Pull.
All right, so now that Frank got all the strings off of the posts and around the tomatoes, yep. he's gonna come through, pick up all the loose tomatoes laying on the ground, throw them in the wheelbarrow, and then take them out to the dump trailer, dump them off, out that door. And then, gonna come back through for the actual tomato plant. Which right now is just pulling them out and cleaning up underneath of them. So then you can just throw that whole plant right there in the trailer. And then once that's done, we'll come back through and we'll pull out these posts. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Alright, so Frank got all the strings off now, got all the loose tomatoes off the ground. All the tomatoes are pulled out of the ground, as you can see right here. This is where they were, just some little bit of roots left behind. And now he is loading them up into the wheelbarrow, hauling them out, and into the dump trailer where Daisy's out there right now. If you hear, if for some reason you're going and you hear it go and you can still get it out whole, keep that one off the side because most likely it's broken and it's going to break next time. Okay. I'm sure you're going to break one or two. It's going to happen. I want to do what you know too. This, I think it was this row, it was either this row or this row, They're, they came up real easy. Really? Super easy. Huh. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. So, yeah, the biggest thing is just try not to wiggle them anymore than you have to and then give them a pull but they seem pretty nice pretty loose the ground's not real hard no. you know what i mean so i think they'll come out pretty decent That was a lucky one. Yeah, it sounded like a crack. It happens. I'm on video. <laughs> I, get out of here. I got a license to drive this. <laughs> Forever. 
Back to the drawing board. All right, so Frank got everything cleaned out now. It's completely empty. The only thing we have to do now is get this header line out of here and the pressure gauge and then roll this fabric up and that's it. Hey, you ever want some music? I play guitar and stuff sings. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll write a brilliant song for you guys. <laughs> it didn't take long. I mean, it was, it was really smooth. And... Well, of course, me and Hunter get going, you know. Yeah. 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 You can leave here. You can leave here now. I'll be cool. Perfect. Ah, damn. Love one of them. All right, so we got a lot accomplished today. Frank, as you've seen, got this whole high tunnel done and cleaned. It's absolutely beautiful. He even went as far as to not even get any leaves or tomatoes on the bare ground, which is good because what that does is it just leaves the potential for disease. So we're really happy about that. And also he made really good time for one guy doing this and not even a full day's work. It's pretty amazing. So now the next step will be moving down to the lower high tunnel, getting that one cleaned, cleaned up around the farm a little bit, and then before you know it, it'll be time to start getting back in here and in the greenhouses and start seeding stuff. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. And if you haven't already, like this video and leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And always remember, it ain't much, but it's honest work.